Look here, we got some open shelves. We got some here, and they come over over to here. We got when we re redid our kitchen, we put all these open shelves up, and these are actually made. We got an idea with these little narrow ones here on this side. These are actually made from uh, stair treads. We re we, we redid our stairs, and the treads were the leftover pieces of treads. So we just cut them off and the rounded front, we thought they'd make really good shelves. We bought the brackets underneath here. We got these at Lowe's. Um, they turned out good, but we got another area here that we'd have to put some more. Okay, so over here we're gonna put some more shelves. We decided we're gonna get three over here. We're gonna just try to stay with the same height best we can. So it's gonna be, right here will be the middle one. The middle one's gonna go here top one will be up here and the bottom one the same distance will just come in here probably somewhere like here so we're going to go out and we'll show you how to do that in the barn we're going to cut them and sand them so we'll stain them out there once they get dry then we'll come in here we'll have the brackets already up we'll finish them out but the number one rule doing any diy project is you have to get out every tool you own if you if you if you clean up any less than an hour when you're done it's a total failure no matter how good it looks you have to have, you know, we're gonna probably gonna need at least three screwdrivers, possibly a chainsaw, a skill saw, miter saw, drill, two tape measures, probably three pencils. I mean, it's endless, but you just watch and see, there'll be stuff everywhere. All right, here we are, here's our three stair treads. They, were, they worked out like everything else in our house. Each one's gonna be a different length. Our crooked house, amazing, the bottom one, it's going to be like 36 and a half. The one in the middle is going to be 36 and a quarter. And the top one is going to be 36. So anyway, continue on. All we're going to do is measure them. Do this one, the longest one. It's going to be 36 and a half. Mark it 36 and a half. Another tool I didn't mention we'll need is, of course, is a square. And there you go there's your line that way you can cut it with a skill saw if you had to but i'm going to use my chop saw miter saw you can cut a straight line better so let's go ahead and do that right now See, I don't really know why they put these tile. They thought it was decorative or what, but the shelf will be in front of it, so you won't see this. So I'm still trying to make the decision if I'm going to go above it, below it. To line up with the other ones, it probably just about needs to go dead center, so I'm still doing some calculations. But the first shelf I cut, it was for the bottom. And the little, it fits right there just fine. You notice if you raise up, it won't go in up here higher. It's like our house is uh, screwed up. So that's how it fits fine at the bottom. You know, it's that much too long at the top. So anyway, just like everything, there's nothing square in the entire house. Another little time-saving tip trick: these stickers that come on these things. You gotta cut one end off anyway. It leaves a little sticky residue. Sometimes it's hard to sand out. So normally I just cut off the end with a sticker, but this board, stickers on this end, I was gonna cut that off, but I got to looking down here to this crack where they manufactured these. There's, these come in strips and they glue them together. So this one's got a crack. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this end off and then I'll just take my time and sand that off really good down there where the sticker was. Just a little tip.
down we gotta sand them down with a handy dandy little pad sander this is the 160 grit so i'll rough them up because see how they look we may sand them again with some finer like 120 no no here we go hold cover your ears oh forgot something Protect your ears. So I got them all three sanded. I didn't really worry about sanding the back because it's going to be against the wall. And you know, I'm I'm kind of ready to do something else. The football comes on today. Yes, something fun. Anyway, they are all sanded. We just clean them up now. Take your wet rag and get them wiped down really good. And once you get all the dust off of them, then we ready for some stain. Change of plans. We're gonna use air. To blow them off. I didn't think I had enough tools out. It was going, I was gonna break my reel, so might as well get something else out. So here we go. What I've done here is I've made pencil marks here to get my vertical square with this one the same distance off the door facing, door casing. You can see the pencil mark. I've measured my spot down from the top here, same distance on each side. So I just put get my top hole drilled and I line my bracket up with my vertical line. And this wall is funny. It's got like I say, our house is built funny. But I'm not hitting the stud here. It's got like it's got like a the whole wall's got OSB behind the sheetrock. I haven't torn it to see the the other wall on the other side of the kitchen did have the whole wall had OSB. So if it does, if the screw doesn't catch good in the OSB, I'm going ahead and putting the, one of these anchors in. You can see I had to put one over here, but all these other screws caught fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue on. And as long as the screw catches, I don't worry about using the anchor. I'm just holding the bracket up here, like I said, even with my vertical line. I already got my top hole made, it's square. And I'll just drill in my bottom hole. Now 
just used my level. I just mounted the one on the right. I got my level in the correct place. I got a vertical line over here on this side. I line it up on that. The level's good, you can see right there. And I'm on my line over here. Got that one good and level. Drill me a pilot hole. bracket out of the way so I wouldn't knock the finish off the bracket. brackets up ready to give it the shelves they should be dry and stick with the theme of the day look I got tools everywhere and down here on the floor even. yeah we're gonna be right on that one hour cleanup